Welcome to Bottle Shop Battle, where we take two beers, one style, put them head to head against each other to see which one comes out on top. Yes. What are we drinking this time? All right, what are we drinking? What are we drinking? Mexican Imperial Stout. It is stout season. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Let's do it. Love this beer, Stone Choco Fesa. It's a Mexican Imperial Stout with chocolate, coffee, pasilla peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. 8.1%. This beer is killer. Oh, let's drink it. Oh. Yeah, none more classic than the Yeti series from the Great Divide. This one is Mexican Chocolate Yeti Imperial Stout. Stout with coffee and spices added. Nine and a half percent alcohol by volume. I haven't had this uh, this version yet, so super stoked to drink it. And I think it's gonna crush what Gary's got coming up. So let's do it. <laughs> All right, as always, Nelson here from the bottle shop poured out the beers for us. We have no idea what we're drinking yet. They look great. Yes, they look awesome. Uh, I'm ready to blind taste test. Let's dig into beer number one. Oh, uh, let's do it. Dark as night. Oil can. Got that nice tan head and that nose. Ooh, a lot mm, of chocolate, cinnamon. A lot coming out of this one. Vanilla. Oh man, that is awesome. That is like an amazing dessert. Let's give it a whirl. Crowbar's up. Mm, that is really nice. That is Mexican hot Super chocolate drinkable right too. Like for a bigger beer, for an imperial stout. Uh, this beer goes down really, really smooth. Um, just, I think just because it's so dessert forward, um, this is Mexican hot chocolate. It's chocolate, it's spices. Um, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Yeah, vanilla too. Uh, I'm not getting much uh, in terms of like spicy, like kind of chili spices. Um, so I'm not sure what that means, but um, I know that this beer, I like it. the complexity of this beer will change as it warms up. So why don't we just uh, wait here while they warm up, you know, just take a breather. It's still amazing. Yeah. This is a great beer. Let's move into number two. Okay, beer number two. Seems a lot darker than the last. Well, they're both, no, they're both dark. dark. The head is darker. <laughs> yeah. So the last one had like a kind of a tan, uh, light brown, and this is a darker brown, kind of motor oily type of brown. Absolutely. Much more dark chocolate yeah. than the last one. Yeah. A little less, bit of bitterness. Less spice. I think. Um, less vanilla. It smells like it's gonna warm me up. Let's give it a whirl. Time. Cheers. Crowbars up as always. All right, so this one, the last one was like was in bold. your face with like big dessert flavors and we were just yelling them out, right? Uh, this one is um, complex in a very subtle way, yeah. right? It, you, it, dark chocolate, you kind of nailed that. Yeah. This is like dark chocolate complexity, um, a tad bit of sweetness, but you're, I'm not picking out um, big flavors on this. It's a little bit earthy. Yeah, I think it's it's muted in terms of spices. I think it went really, really hard on the chocolate. And that's kind of all I'm tasting. Yeah, it's big, dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, these two beers are very different. Um, so I'm kind of like in the back <laughs> of my mind, which one do I like better? Like it's very difficult for me to choose because sometimes I'm in the mood for something that's like a big desserty type of stout. And sometimes I'm in the mood for something that's not as sweet, that kind of has that chocolate roastiness, but isn't gonna make me feel like I'm drinking a candy bar, so. All right, we tasted two amazing Mexican Imperial Stouts. It's time to get into the decision. Woo. All right, this which one tough. are we choosing? What do you got? All right, uh, do I wanna go sweet? Do I wanna go bitter and earthy? Um, I'm choosing number two. More bitter, Ooh, okay, less sweet. Okay, okay, Number two is what I'm going with. I like that choice a lot. Nothing wrong with that at all. What do you got? 
course, he always has to have one more sip. You know what, I'm right there with you on number two. I think when I'm choosing this type of style out of the fridge, this is kind of what I'm hoping for versus something like this. This screams Mexican Imperial Stout to me. This one, not so much. While still good, this one, I think, wins this battle. But which beer is it? All right, let's find out what beer number two is. All right, the big Ooh. reveal. One, Ready? two, three. Oh, there it is. Wow. Boom. I could have sworn number Great two divide. was going to be that yeah, stone. Dude. Wow. Yep. Great Divide killed it. There is your winner right there. Great Divide Mexican Chocolate Yeti Imperial Stout. I'd say in this one, my friend, you lose. You're right. I lose. So let's go get that punishment beverage. I, I can't even know. call it a beer. The smash is back. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm putting my you foot have down. No choice. How could I drink you these beers lose. and have to drink that? You are the ultimate loser of this episode. You know what to do. Punishment has been served. Drink up, my friend. All right. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of Bottle Shop Battle. We will see you guys next time. Ah, it burns. It burns. Ah.